Hi, I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and this is MedPix Case of the Week, number 678, a 15-year-old with delayed puberty. We have no significant disclosures. This case was provided by Stephen J. Goldstein from the University of Kentucky. Our patient is a 15-year-old boy with delayed onset of puberty. On the way to the MR center to have this scan, the family passed a dead skunk, and he was the only one in the car who could not smell the odor. On physical exam, he had small stature, and there was no evidence of sexual development to suggest the onset of puberty. These coronal images, T1 and T2, look relatively normal, but the hardest thing for a radiologist or anyone to notice is when something is missing. So this patient with delayed puberty has some important structures that are missing from these scans. The olfactory bulbs are missing and the straight sulcus is also missing. So there's no olfactory sulcus and no olfactory bulbs. So this patient has a classic presentation of an absence of the normal olfactory bulbs and the normal straight sulcus indicated here by the two arrows. If we look at the base of the brain, the olfactory bulbs are relatively easy to identify. They lie between the most medial orbital frontal gyrus, also called the straight gyrus, separated from the medial orbital gyrus by the straight sulcus, oftentimes called the rectal sulcus, which you can see here outlined in yellow. So our patient has Kalman syndrome. The diagnosis was based both on the MRI and the clinical presentation. Kalman syndrome is one type of hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. I like to call it calm man syndrome and I'll explain why at the very end. There are many different causes for hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Kalman syndrome is associated with absence of the olfactory nerves. Mobius syndrome includes paralysis of cranial nerves 6 and 7. Lawrence Moon Beetle syndrome has polydactyly and is autosomal recessive. Prater Willi syndrome is associated with obesity, short stature, and small hands. The Rudd syndrome includes ichthyosis, retinitis pigmentosa, seizures and mental retardation, and it is also autosomal recessive. There are also some syndromes that associate cerebellar ataxia with hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Kalman syndrome includes delayed or incomplete puberty, hypogonadotropic hypogonadism as measured by reduced levels of GnRH, 100% of the patients have anosmia, an absence of the olfactory bulbs and tracts, and about 60% have only anosmia. It is a male predominant disorder of approximately three to five times because some patients have a sex-linked recessive gene causing the disorder. The prevalence is approximately one in 4,000 to 10,000 men who oftentimes complain of delayed onset of puberty and approximately 1 in 50,000 women who complain of primary amenorrhea. amenorrhea. There are multiple mutations that cause Kalman syndrome. Most of the patients do not have a family history, but it may be transmitted as autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, or sex-linked. Men present because of delayed and or incomplete puberty, a loss or absence of libido. They will have low testosterone and normal to low levels of LH and FSH. About one-third of the patients will have one or both testes undescended, and about 5 to 10 percent of the patients will have a micropenis and or a hypoplastic scrotum. The disease is due to an embryologic failure. Normally approximately 1 to 2,000 gonadotropin-secreting neurons arise in the nasal placode, and they usually migrate along the olfactory axons to the hypothalamus. In Kalman's disease, they get stranded at the cribriform plate. If we look at the normal migration of these gonadotropin-releasing cells, they will find the axons that perforate through the cribriform plate, and the GnRH cells will follow these axons, and then they will track along the brain and find the hypothalamus. 
However, in patients that have Kalman's disease because of a genetic mutation, the olfactory nerves do not find the, their way through the cribriform plate, and the gonadotropin-releasing hormone cells also cannot find their way into the brain, and the olfactory bulbs are not present. The treatment for Kalman's disease is hormone replacement therapy, testosterone injection, androgel. The best treatment is pulsatile gonadotropin-releasing hormone injection, which can be done through a subcutaneous pump. About 40% of men who are treated in this manner have a chance for spontaneous impregnation of their partner, and another one-third will have pregnancy due to in vitro fertilization. Women are treated with estrogen and progesterone, and they may also benefit from a pulsatile injection of gonadotropin-releasing hormone through a subcutaneous pump. So this has been a case of Kalman syndrome, anosmic hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, which I like to call calm man's syndrome because these patients have delayed or incomplete puberty, anosmia, decreased gonadotropin releasing hormone, and male patients have small genitalia and low testosterone. They are indeed very calm men. I am Jim Smyrniotopoulos and I have approved this message. Thank you for your very kind attention.